Hello everyone, welcome back to another project video. It makes me very happy that you're back, ready to create. On this week's project, we're going to learn about one of the most amazing artists that ever existed. Without a doubt, Vincent van Gogh is one of the most famous artists of the world. He was born in the Netherlands, but spent most of his life in France. He had a very difficult life. Nonetheless, he still was a very dedicated and talented artist. He painted over 2,000 paintings, most of those during the last two years of his life. His paintings are easily recognizable because of his unique style, bright colors, bold brush strokes, and much movement. We're going to be recreating one of his paintings using only crayons. Crayons are great for blending and layering colors, for adding texture, which are key elements on every Van Gogh painting. So bring a piece of paper and your crayons and let's make! We are recreating a painting that already exists, so we need to look at the colors of the painting and find those colors on our color collection. Measure four fingers at the top left of the paper. Place a dot right after your fingers. We're going to make our tree this tall. Next, from that dot, bring a wavy line that goes all the way to the bottom of the paper. Go back to that dot and repeat the wavy line one more time. We're going to repeat this shape over and over, but this one will be the tallest one. So the next ones after this are going to have to be shorter. Add one on the left, another one on the right, and then more little ones coming out from the right side. Make them progressively shorter. The mountain line starts on the right side, middle height, and then it goes down, falling all the way to the bottom left. You can start left to right or right to left. For me, it is more comfortable to start on the bottom left and then start building bumps as I go up to that middle part on the right. Add another extra little mountain on the right side of your mountain line. On the right side of the cypress tree and right below the mountain, we're going to start a house. This is your typical house with a triangle top and a rectangle bottom. Draw a normal roof and then a spike going a little bit taller than normal, the side of the house and then the door. The rest of the houses are more random. They also don't have a lot of detail, so your basic drawing of a house will do. Just make sure they are walking towards the right side of the paper. There is a little bit of a division line right below our last mountain on the right. We're going to create a line made out of little curved lines that follow each other one behind the other, all the way to the right side of the paper. One of the most important things of the painting is the swirls. It's also one of the biggest things right after the cypress tree. It starts from the left side, it goes down and then it slightly starts going up right after the tree and then it starts swirling up right above the church. Take your time to slowly try to figure out how to copy this part. Also make sure that you are trying to make your lines soft and light. Make a second swirl coming from the center of our first one going to the right. Add the last layer of land and mountains. It's going to start from right above the last mountain on the right and it's slightly going to go down in a diagonal like a slide all the way to the left side of the paper. These lines are curvy, and bumpy and shaky. With the yellow crayon, draw a crescent moon on the top right of your paper. Next, make a yellow circle around the moon. We're going to start our coloring. Everything that we color, we have to layer colors on top of each other. This is going to add texture and depth, just like the paintings of Van Gogh. I'm starting by coloring the light around the moon by doing strokes of lines that go around the moon in a circle motion. Then coloring the moon completely yellow and then coming with the dark orange to add more lines and extra texture. I brought a lighter yellow and then color all of the circle around of the moon. You should be able to see two different colors from the moon 
to the light around the moon. For the tree, we're going to start color all of the leaves green. Make sure you press down hard with your crayon and it's okay if you leave some white spots here and there. I'm leaving kind of the texture behind. Now layer an orange color on top of the green, making quick strokes of line all across the plant. Finally, come in with a black crayon and do the same. Start coloring the sky with a very light blue, making little strokes of lines and scribble scrubbing just a little bit on top of the sky. Bring a light green and start coloring again with strokes of lines, leaving some white spaces behind. Do that on the first layer of mountains. Use a dark blue to color lines going up on the bottom part of that mountain line. Then bring your yellow and try to fill in the rest of the spaces. For the middle layer of mountains, bring a dark blue color and start coloring by making lines. For the little mountain in between, darken the blue coloring Bring some green and color on top of it, then bring a black crayon and start adding lines across until you make a very dark space. For the rest of the mountains, bring a green and fill in all of the spaces we left behind. With the combination of darker blues and darker greens, fill in the space until it looks more messy. Get a yellow crayon for the stars. Start them up by coloring circles around the sky. Find a slightly darker blue than the one you used before and fill in some of the empty spots that you did, except the ones on the swirl of wind. We want that to be our lightest part. Now bring an even darker blue and start making little lines across the whole sky. Make sure they are all small but dark and they all should follow the same direction, left to right, side to side. You can add little lines of colors inside of the wind swirls, like a light green, yellow, a little bit of darker blue. Remember these lines should be little dashes that are moving across the paper in the same direction as the wind. Bring the black crayon and add some more of those little dashed lines all across the sky, again, avoiding the swirl of wind. Finish off the houses. Color the land next to the houses on the left and the right with the light green first. Layer a darker green on top and then a blue on top of those. On the left, your color direction should be left to right, it's just horizontal lines, and on the right, you should follow the curved lines that we did earlier on. Color the rest of the houses by using random colors, but you should still consider layering colors on top of each other so they don't look like they don't belong. Add vertical lines on the roof of the houses to add texture. Still with the black crayon, add more of those curved lines that we did on the right side of the paper and on the left side, add a couple of horizontal side-to-side -side black lines. And that is all. That should finish off your painting of the Starry Night of Van Gogh. We added so many layers of colors and lines that our painting looks now very alive and very expressive. I cannot wait to see your painting. Van Gogh is a personal favorite artist of mine, so I had a lot of fun making this project. I hope you did have fun too. One more time, I thank you for allowing me in your time and your space, and I will see you next week with the new project. Bye!